Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Boys and girls. I've got a story to tell you, and it's about Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now, today we're going to be talking about what the devil's up to and how we're going to defeat him. And it's mind control. And so that's what's happening with television today. All this rotten stuff, this language and, and um, scenes, of, of porn scenes, they're affecting the minds of the young. And so you ought to do something about it because in history, that's how the devil started. He started by using his tactics against Eve and Adam where he got them to do his will rather than the will of God. But also tells you that these wicked people in this world, they're trying to promote themselves all the time. In other words, instead of worshiping God, they want you to worship idols or, the, or these leaders. So Nebuchadnezzar, he actually tried to burn the Israelites who wouldn't bow down and worship him. And so there's a story in the Bible about that. It's very interesting. You should look at it because the flames didn't touch these, these uh, um, Israelites in the fiery furnace. But also in the Roman Empire, the, the Roman em emperor was demanding worship of the emperor. And so that's what happened is that many people were persecuted for not worshipping the emperor. But also in Hitler, Hitler, he, and not only did he burn Bibles and books, he actually was demanding the Hitler youth sing songs of praise to him. That's a form of worship. And so that's what Hitler did. But also with, we, we can name Stalin, the Japanese emperor, Islam, and China. And they're all brutally oppressed people who sought freedom of worship. So that's what was happening, and that's what's happening. Uh, the devil is trying to enforce the same thing in Australia, because this Australia is a Christian nation. It was declared to be the great south land of the Holy Spirit, and God blessed Australia, and whatever God blesses, nobody can curse. So I'm telling you, if you try to do that in Australia, you're going to fall flat on your face. I just want you to know that in these modern times, is that that's what happens on television. They're actually introducing porn and drugs and lawlessness and all those things. But and even Chairman Mao, he declared, he declared, if you want to conquer a nation, you introduce the language of the gutter into the homes of the people. And so that's uh, what he was saying. So he's acknowledging that what's going on on television at the moment ought not to occur. In other words, they should strip the licenses of them and return, return to the old censorship where that sort of nonsense cannot go into the homes of people. So fix up your stuff, government. <clears throat> but the conclusion of these points that I've just made is that we are to fear God and resist the devil. And also it says, and that's to avoid this mind control that's going on, but I just want to tell you this, and I'm going to read it from the, the scriptures right now. And it talks about, it says in Acts 4, 12, it says, Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to men by which they can be saved, and that's the name of Jesus. Amen. So I want you to know this. The shed blood of Jesus is what defeated Satan because he killed an innocent man. And when that happened, he broke the rules God had set. And so God was not going to take away the power that was given to Satan through his trickery. But he could because he broke um, God's laws. And so that's what happens. But there are, is a stipulation because... Uh, the Satan's got power over people on this earth except those who are in Christ Jesus. And so if you're not in Christ Jesus, you've got demons. And so if you want to get rid of your demons, you need to repent. And so God loves you. 
He doesn't want you to have this filth in you. <laughs> and so he blesses you, by the way. He blesses you. And that's uh, the most important thing, is to be right with God. And so the gospel of Jesus Christ is this. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, and whomsoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. That's wonderful, isn't it? He Amen. also says this, and so this is what all Christians ought to understand, is this is most important scripture, and that's John 3, 3 to 5. It talks about being born again, and because this is how you get into heaven. It says, unless a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And he goes on further to say, you cannot enter unless you're born again. So very, very powerful words. If you want to go to heaven, you better make sure that you're born again. And that's baptized in the Holy Spirit is another name for it. If you're a Catholic, it's the second conversion in the catechism. They're talk, all talking about the same thing, but it's really the Holy Spirit of God living in your heart, empowering you to be able to live a life pleasing to God. So thank you very much. And this is what you need to understand is you've got to use your mouth to bring the blessing because it says in Romans 10, 9, it says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the grave, then you'll be saved. So that's what you need to understand is that you need to receive. So thank you very much and God bless you.